had somebody at the Hello. movie theater tell me they were looking for somebody with one eye. Uh-huh. I told them I should use two. They'll find them faster. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex of Corbin. I'm Alexis. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juice. Threads yeah, gone. So content. Twitter. Thank you to everybody who supports on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, account, subscribe to like button. And welcome back. Today we're doing a movie review. Of the highly, highly, highly anticipated new 2023 film, Rocky or Rani Ke Prim Kahani. Whoa. Wow. You gave the whole kit and caboodle. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> uh, <laughs> directed by Karen Johar, his comeback after, I believe it's been seven years since his last directorial. Uh, have, is this your first Karen Johar film, by the way? Uh, it I... might be. I think it is. It might really be. Know. I'm pretty sure it, it is. It might be. I'm pretty sure it uh, is. Starring Ranveer Singh and uh, Alia Bhatt and uh, Dharmendra mm -hmm. and uh, say these other names for me. Uh, Garima Agarwal. I, I, hold on. I'm her. Oh, yeah. Shraddha Arya. Right. And of course, Jaya Bakchan. And, and Shabana oh, Azmi. A lot of other people. Yeah. Ranveer Singh, Ali Bhatt, and then um, Jai is running around all crazy. Yeah. Uh, but uh, <laughs> since this is new, so we will do a little non-spoiler, and then we will get into some spoils for you, okay? Uh, Lexi, would you like to go first? Sure. What did you think about the film? I liked it. I don't I don't think I loved it, mm -hmm. but I liked it. Gotcha. I obviously love Arya, and I love Ranveer. Alia. Alia. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I love both of them. Mm -hmm. So I think that was most of the reason why I yeah, liked yeah, it. Yeah, 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 mm yeah. -hmm. It definitely dragged at points for me. Okay. But other than that, I would give it like a 6 out of 10. Nice, nice. Yeah. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Yeah. Uh, it did not live up to what I was wanting it to be. I, mm -hmm. I was I was hoping it was going to be better than it was. We'll get into, in the, into the spoiler section can talk about the specifics of that. Uh, a large component of the enjoyability is the fact that we have a long history of loving Ranveer and Alia, and uh, there were some some especially early on. I thought there were some there were some screaming funny moments that everybody was really laughing hard at, but it it dragged, and there were so, a lot of things in the writing that I thought could have been just. I just thought it it, it it lacked a lot. I didn't feel connected to characters, and it just didn't didn't meet my expectations. Mm. Okay. Um, this is going to be interesting. I fucking love this movie. Wow. Um, and wow. I, 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 right when I ended it, uh, I, I texted my wife and she said, how was it? I said, I wish you were with me because I would have gone back immediately to watch this film. I love this movie. Wow. So uh, this will be interesting. A little interesting. Yeah. Uh, which is fine. Uh, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, I definitely really, really enjoyed this movie. It was exactly what I, what I was expecting. Huh. And was three it? hours, I... I, it did not drag for me in three hours because there was like one part in the entire movie that I just didn't in, like. I didn't like as much as the others, mm -hmm. but there and, and maybe my audience because also my audience was laughing the entire time mm. as well as yeah our whole, our uh, audience was laughing hard at the uh, spots and so like I I was very connected to Alia I was very connected to Renvier I, I I loved Renvier's performance in this. Uh, to do the comedy the way he did. And I, it was also interesting to have your opinion on this because obviously, you, one, you haven't seen Karen Johar and you also haven't mm -hmm. seen as many right. films as we have. Yeah. Um, but you have seen a, a good amount of Ren Veers as well, though, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so it'll be interesting. But yeah, what did you think of Ren Veers' performance in this? Let's start with the performances first. I loved it. And I feel like out of all of the characters that I've seen him play, I feel like this one was probably the closest to his personality <laughs> agree yeah. maybe not so like the cockiness i feel like was more drastic than i think he is in person obviously i don't know him yeah but it just and the outfits and all yeah, of it oh it the outfits were definitely very, him. yeah, yeah. <laughs> which yeah. is why he fits in the, in the role for sure yes yeah yeah i really liked him yeah i thought he did great yeah so what do you, what do you yeah. think of yeah. Beer, uh, Beer. well the, uh, as i was watching him especially in the funny moments it reminded me of the film we saw that no one else liked but us the the comedy. Comedy. Jodar. Yeah. yeah, whatever that yeah. Called, yeah. His comedy skills are way better than mm -hmm. I think anybody talks about. I, I, which is a, if you can do comedy, 
Comedy yeah. is much harder than drama. Yes. And and he has really, really good comedic instincts, comedic skills. There were some really funny moments in that, and I felt that really considering, and I'd say this about Ali as well, I said cons considering the parts of the script that I had mm -hmm. some troubles with that I didn't like, yeah. they're the kind of actors that we say this all the time, that they, oh, they're yeah. going to they're gonna do the best with whatever they're given. Mm. Um, mm. And I, I did find there were some spots, particularly for Alia's character, but it's because of Alia's character being uh, not as shallow, that, mm. that there were moments where her depth as an actress kind of uh, was almost, for me, wasted uh, in, in terms of what she's capable of and where this could have gone potentially. But uh, ultimately, it's not just the likability of Ranveer and Alia and the familiarity of them. They just, they carry the parts of the film that I enjoyed the most because they are who they are. They're, they're really talented people. Also, mm -hmm. uh, great chemistry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just... Very much which is, so. It's something I know you didn't hear about, but obviously, right, well, like when the first song dropped, which was funny because it was... The which was the, the Cashmere Snow song? The song? When they were in the snow oh. after the big thing. I'm yeah, not going to yeah, spoil yeah. anything uh, for anybody, but <laughs> there was a reason why I guess some people probably felt that they weren't as connected as they... Yeah, there were people mm -hmm. saying there was no no chemistry. But also, it's just so strange that, one, you would judge... I disagree. ...chemistry I based agree. off Me of too. a song. Me too. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> without seeing the film. Um, but, because <laughs> also, you don't know the context of the song yeah. either uh, before you see the film. Um, but I, I, I really enjoyed uh, their chemistry together. Uh, Alia uh, had some... She was the more subdued character, obviously. Renfrew right. had the more um, he, he outlandish. Had, he, he had the more opportunity to fail yes. uh, in mm. this. He did. She still showed her fieriness, though, yeah. at, at, that you see sometimes, in, uh, a lot of times in Golly Boy, you saw it here. Yeah, uh, and I think fieriness. they're properly cast. These, yeah. they're, they fit very much into these characters for who they, they are, though they weren't, for me, uh, as fully formed as I think those two actors can be, but that's okay. Mm. I, I thought, I, I have no problems at all with Alia and Ranveer in this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what do you think about everybody else? Because uh, I, I want to talk about specifically, uh, <laughs> I want to talk about actually Jaya. <laughs> what do you think about Jaya? I, I enjoyed Jaya. Uh -huh. There were a couple of moments where for the first time I felt she wasn't grounded and a she was bit. struggling. Yeah, right? She was struggling. Which is funny because we, we, we never see her do the, that. The, the, the red song when we yeah. did that. We were like, oh yeah, you can't, she can't do it. And I, it wasn't the entire time. But I was like, of everybody in it, I was like, she was giving the most, she was she was giving Big B and, and K3G. It was basically. very, very much that. <laughs> Big B and K3G. Yes, very much that. <laughs> her character was basically Big B and K3G. Yeah, very much that. Um, and so maybe it's just because she's not used to playing that Type. I don't. I don't know the, the direction know. she was given, uh, and it wasn't the whole time. But that I just no. Thought there that were was, a few moments. I just thought that was interesting because yeah. <laughs> we've never seen that in her before. In K three, yeah. I know you haven't seen K three G, but it's a massive Bollywood film. Karen Johar as well. It's basically quintessential early two thousands Bollywood. Everybody's overacting. Everything's melodramatic. Mm. Right. Uh, it's wonderful. I love that movie. Um, but she, even though everybody else in the movie is insanely over the top she was very very grounded mm. and so it was just interesting that mm. uh her character was the one that f more than everybody else i felt gave a little bit more than she should have at <laughs> times um maybe that's the direction she was given um what you uh i lost my train of thought well since you did i have a train of thought okay, that i will ahead. put on the track go ahead <laughs> um, i know there's folks that will make comparisons obviously of, say, Ranveer and Alia and, say, the quintessential Bollywood romance couple of, of Shah Rukh Khan and Kajol. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, first of all, that that's not a fair comparison. It's a completely different era, first no. of all. Um, I, 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 yes, there's no comparison. No one ever will compare to that era and that time and to Shah Rukh Khan and Kajol. Uh, they just, they won't. And I, I, I thought, given the fact that that, comparison was undoubtedly in Alia and Runveer's minds. Mm -hmm. It had to be. I'd love to talk to him about it and see how much it maybe weighed on them or if they were able to really to just shut it out, if maybe Karin was telling them, don't think that, even though we're going for this kind of film. I think that was a credit to them as well, as I didn't see them, and Ran Runveer could have really screwed it up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. He could have really gone over the top, and everybody would have said, calm down, you're not SRK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he didn't do that. Oh, yeah, he at wasn't all. trying to be SRK. He wasn't trying to be SRK. Um, I thought, yeah, his performance is probably one of my favorite performances, just because it's it 
he played a character and it, it <laughs> these especially over the top characters that are larger than life themselves and they're like basically a stereotype of a certain type of person they could be really really sticky and yeah and, and, and not work not work just and he not made work. it work or, he, and, he or was, even come across as not charming come across as being a yeah, complete like just dick really like them. Yeah. yeah and he, he's not he remains charming yeah. he came across as charming he came across as very funny uh, in this, um, and I, they're the reason I would watch it again. Um, they're, they're, they're the reason I would watch it. Oh, again. yeah, they're the main, the main yeah. stars of it. Uh, <laughs> that's like the, the reason I would watch La La Land is against Ryan Gosling, Emma Stone. No, <laughs> there's there's films I would watch where one of the leads I disliked and I, I wouldn't watch it for one of the leads. What? Well, I can, there's a lot of movies that I, I enjoyed the film but didn't necessarily like one of the people. That happened when I watched Barfy, remember? Originally, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Priyanka. Priyanka and uh, Renbeer. And Renbeer. Oh, yeah. I, that was a good one. Yeah. Good one. Um, what do you think about the songs? You, you saw well, one, right? No, you didn't say... She didn't, she didn't I, see any of the songs. The only thing that I saw was stuff that they posted on Instagram. Okay, yeah, so, so she never saw the songs. So what did you think of the, 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 the songs? songs? I don't feel like there were that many. Hmm? Were there a lot? Like, well, the, do you mean like songs where they dance? Yeah, and, like, the item songs. Oh, yeah, because yeah. there were a lot of obviously without giving anything. There was there's a lot the of, yeah. there's the Cashmere yeah. Snow song. Uh huh. There's the big dance number that's everything's red. Yes. Uh, what you I, uh, I liked them. Yeah. I mean, I've seen better. Yeah. Yeah. But I enjoyed them. Yeah. Like I was like just vibing, having yeah. a good time. Yep. What would you think about the songs, Rick? Yeah. Uh, I liked them too, and I liked the overscoring. Yeah. I was I was expecting it. Of course. Uh, it, it worked, and it actually he. I thought that was something that he did well with the direction is that he added enough of the stereotypical 90s Bollywood stuff where you get a little wink and a nudge with the mm. music, but yeah. it wasn't as ridiculously melodramatically over the top. Yeah. Um, if there's a credit I would give to the movie in that regard, I, I felt that I thought he did a good job of making it feel like those films without it trying to be a copy and... It, it being something new, which is one of the things we talked about, was yeah. is he going to be able to make this work today? Yep. And when it comes to the feel of the film, that too is one of the reasons why I would give it a, a, a higher grade. It's not a love, mm -hmm. but I didn't walk away from the movie disliking it. I just didn't you walk like away it. from it. Yeah. yeah. And I for know. me, the biggest drawback for me in terms of it, without spoilers, was just it, it got primarily because of writing and pacing it got really slow and i got bored a lot throughout the film mm. interesting yeah i was I, funny enough i was actually thinking i was sad when it was i knew there was about 30 minutes left huh because huh. i was like <laughs> whatever i'm just really enjoying having this a good space. time uh, <laughs> but uh another thing i wanted to say on the uh before we get into some spoils um about the film, because I, like I said, I love this film. I would see it again. I would have, if my wife could have, I would have gone immediately to the next showing and, and watched it with my wife because I, I, I really enjoyed it. But the, um, the on the Kieran Johar directing that you were just talking about, mm. um, I actually thought this was extremely introspective direction from him. And how so? Uh, you're not gonna know a lot of this because you haven't seen a lot of this. Because mm -hmm. I actually thought it took. It, obviously, there was some messaging. Obviously, uh, yeah. some very on the nose, some not so on the nose. Uh, Agreed. Which is which, some of the problems. I uh, have. Well, that's part of his filmography. Though. True. True. Uh, that's how. That's how he true. does it. He always has a kind of a social message. This one was just interesting because I thought this one was a lot of a lot of the stuff that the old ones did. A lot of people have said like that's very toxic of what you're doing. It's very patriarchal. Of, like the like K three Gs, DDLJs. Uh, of the time, looking back on it, basically, okay. is what they're saying. Okay. And so I thought a lot of what he did in this was actually, um, especially, I can't go into specifics. Yeah, we'll have to do it in spoilers. But there's some stuff that I was like, he kind of contributed, actually, to some of these problems. Oh, I see what you're saying. In these old I see what films. You're saying. Right. And he kind of... Uh, is, is letting you know he knows and it. And kind of put up a mirror to himself. Right. Was like, I get it. Yeah. It's a different time, right? Uh, it, uh, it's I. I think you're right. I don't want to say anything specific because it would give stuff away. Um, but I think you're. But absolutely I think right. it was very introspective. I feel like it was a very Karen Johar film. Uh, in ter it's it, like I said, it was everything I expected, good and bad. I was expecting the overscoring. I was expecting some. I wasn't expecting the the um, over the top from from Jaya. She was not the one I was expecting it from, so that was unexpected. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but I was expecting that. I was expecting the, on the songs. I enjoyed the songs. They they were even though I've been humming the um. 
Uh-huh. Yeah. I've been humming that since I, I ended it. So that one was very uh, memorable. Yeah. Maybe it's just because it was at the end. Not as memorable as K3G's or Kuch Kuch Ota I's Agreed. soundtracks. Agreed. For sure. No. Um, because I'm not, I like, even though, like, I think I enjoyed uh, what Chumka more in this than when we reacted to it, even though I enjoyed it when we reacted to it. It's just, um, there's no, like, like there's so many bangers and it's, it's, it sucks when you, you like you are comparing it to his old stuff. Yeah, but his stuff you can't help often it. has great soundtracks. Yeah, you can't to help it. it. And so that that was one element of it that I, I I do agree. But overall, like I said, I I love this film. I would definitely recommend. I think a lot of Indians could especially enjoy this even more because it's a, this is a this is a genre in India. It's the family entertainer. Mm. So it's not it's something that's not going to go as deep as probably Rick wanted it. Obviously, as as I know you said. But it's they they wanted to make everything available to the masses, and I thought they had enough messaging to get some things across as well to the masses of the people that would normally go to these style of films. Uh, and well, I we're love, gonna we're gonna please everybody because there's gonna be people in here who love the movie, and there's gonna be people in here who didn't oh, like yeah, the movie, yeah, yeah, yeah. just like you and me. Oh yeah, yeah. Because uh, I because for you, you'd go back and see it right now, and for me, if I never saw it again, I will not lose sleep. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I yeah. Steph, I was like, right when yeah. it comes to Amazon, we're gonna watch it. Sorry, um, but yeah. So they liked it. I really loved it. Uh, anything else you want to say in the non-spoilers before we get into some spoilers no. here? No. Okay. So if you haven't seen it, please go watch it. This is for everybody who's seen it. This is for everybody who's seen it. You so have we're seen gonna get into a little the more movie. details. Yeah. Uh, about is there some specifically you wanted to talk about that you that you uh, um, elements that you didn't enjoy? Yeah. The primary the primary part of it that leads to the the boredom I had with it and why I I never really got connected or cared yeah. com- compared to to a lot of other films that are of its kind of genre were I I felt first of all one of the things that was just odd to me. And it seemed, and I actually saw a couple of reviews that mentioned the same thing yeah. after the movie, after the film, <laughs> um, where there, I think there's going to be some people who don't like the stereotypes that come from the Punjabi and the Bengali community because they're pretty much, even though he's purposefully doing the stereotypes, they're the kind of stereotypes that I think a lot of people are saying, aren't we, can we does this even uh, work to use it right now? Particularly... Uh, the one being with the Bengalis, which is a true stereotype, and it wasn't as heavy as because the stereotype with the the Punjabis was they were the antagonists in this pretty much. So with the Bengali community, it's they're the artists, they're the educated, mm-hmm. they're the political, and they're the highbrow comparatively, and that the Punjabis can tend to be the um, the, the 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 argumentative and the stern. There was also a continuity mistake. J- Jaya told Alia to put her thing over her head, and then we cut away and come right back, and it's off her head. I don't know why that was allowed. Didn't even um, so. Might have fallen. Well, like, then it's, <laughs> Jaya would have immediately said, "Put that back on your head." So I, I don't know why that was allowed. The, so the, it just I it didn't have. I, it didn't maintain my interest. I felt like the characters were were funny. But when it came down to trying to get me to become invested in the story in any way, and I granted, I wasn't expecting this to be when Harry met Sally or anything of that nature or even the rom-coms we just saw. I knew what we were going into. I just really felt like a lot of the writing was was kind of simple. It it uh, So many of the things that, that tied up didn't really seem to have much of a... Uh, a wow factor for me and a lot of the the one word I can sum it up is for the story and the connection to the people and their interactions I just I I just didn't gain a lot of interest I just was pretty much mm. bored with the story that for me would be the screenwriting would have been the story the screenwriting mm. Mm. Lexi I did you mean, want to say anything <laughs> I mean I I liked the story to a certain extent. I don't remember like specific parts that I felt like dragged. I just remember sitting there being like, "Okay, this is." It kind is a three-hour movie boring. for sure. I know it's that's also part of it. I'm just not used to watching <laughs> movies that long. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Um, but I'm a sucker for a love story, mm-hmm. and there were kind of two in this one. And hot so... And I I wished we had had more of that. Mm. I wanted to know more about them. That was I, I. I thought that was a super interesting one. You're basically they letting these people story. have yeah. an affair, right? right. Yeah. Once again, this is a spoiler. With Jaya still right there, and so I, and they didn't explain the relationship of how it came to be of Jaya, no, and so no. I, I, they kind of wanted yeah. that too. I, I would have loved to know more of. I'm. 
I, I assumed I was like, this was probably an arranged marriage, mm. maybe something along that. If it was explained. Yeah, things I, weren't fleshed out. I missed even, it. Even, even for, I mean, yeah, it's believable that people just fall in love with each other because they looked at each other and the sky was a certain way and they're in love. Just everything didn't, everything just kind of fuck, just kind of landed there. And I felt like her, his dad was just a bad guy. And then suddenly has a, a grand change of character and there there wasn't whereas in those other films though they're still light fair they're they have some poignancy this is that's what this was missing this mi this missed some poignancy for me mm. hmm. and just not really fleshed out things like i would have loved to know a little bit more about their story i would have loved to know a little bit more about rocky and ronnie personally other than their family i i I didn't believe his mom and dad were married. I, I just, I just didn't believe that relationship. Um, and I, I think part of that was because of the writing. I didn't feel like there was anything we got to see that got us to that place. I also, it was odd to me, if we're going to do these families, I, I don't know what Punjabi sounds like, so I don't know if I heard it. I don't think I did, but there, I think there was only one instance where I heard the Bengali, which was when they were doing the reading. I thought right. that was really funny when he saw the picture and he said, granddaddy. Yeah. <laughs> That was very. It was moment. Tagore. That uh, was great. Was very uh, but yeah, that's my my primary thing was it felt like these were very paper cut characters that really didn't have much to them. Therefore, at moments where I wanted to be engaged, I wanted to be emotional, I wanted to care, I just kind of left the way I felt when I walked in. Hmm. Yeah, no, I, uh, I I can't relate to that. Um, I I was I related to a, a lot of people in this. I loved the. Um, Ronnie's dad, that whole element of it. Um, oh. it was very, very sad. Yeah. Uh, for for a minute. Also, I love the Dola Ray right? uh, remake, which is <laughs> wonderful, too. right? Yeah. Um, uh, and there was a lot of um, they obviously they made uh, statements with with certain things like uh, certain things in the culture that um are very prevalent in the culture uh, that I thought were um. Some uh, very on the nose, like the 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 part that I was like, I thought it was kind of funny, but I, I was like, you probably could have left this out. Was the whole um, um, advertising part? Oh yeah. I, I was like, okay, this is I, I get it, but it's a little on the nose. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> a little on the nose uh, here, and so that that's the part that I, I didn't. I was like, you probably could have just left that segment. It was only five minutes though, so it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's whatever. And did you you didn't feel, for example, that. Whether it's the stereotyping Punjabi or Bengali, leave that aside. I just I felt that his family was just the stereotypical. We're the legalists, and you're the progressive. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's that's one hundred percent what it was. Yeah, it's Karen Johar, man. No, I know. <laughs> it's just, but <laughs> what are you I've, I've I've seen that in others of his films, and they they were they were f there was far more intelligence being expressed than just a so. stereotype of, okay, you, you guys like are going to be the conservatives and you guys will be the progressives. Um, and a Kieran Johar film? Because yeah. the last Kieran Johar film was K through G, and you didn't mm -hmm. like that one very much. No, but for different reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it probably doesn't help also <laughs> that I this is the first movie I've seen after seeing Barbie, so <laughs> I'm sure that doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bar no, Barbie is yeah. You're you're hundred percent right, obviously, but, but yeah, that's that's hundred percent what I was expecting going into this film was the the not going to be that deep, even though mm. there were elements that that I, I did really enjoy and I thought but were were very deep. Example, mm. yes, Big B is the proverbial yes bad guy yes, but I cared. Oh, I didn't. I did about him. I cared about that relationship. No, I was very upset when they forgave him. You that's because you care, and I you know, I'll just say that element here. That's one of the things I was referring to. Yeah, one of the things there's actually <laughs> multiple things I was referring to here. Uh, when I said uh, he's very introspective because of that element at the end, because obviously that's that's a, a lot of this was very Indian culture with family, right? Uh, um, in terms of how they argue, why Ranveer got upset with her mm. when she was standing up for it, it was more because she did, um, yeah, did, she did, did, did whatever. Yeah. Um, and I was like, Ranveer, what the fuck, man? Because I'm coming from coming from an American culture. I was like, right. she's standing up for herself. She's totally in the right. Yeah, here. Like, <laughs> the she's totally thing. in the right. And uh, you, you kind of have to like, this is, and you, the way they do things is different. They, they yeah. forgive Amitak Bakchan when he does not 
deserve to be forgiven in the end of K3G. I thought they were going to do that with Jaya in this. <laughs> uh, and and I, I was kind of okay with what they did with the dad um, because of what he what he did i was still like right at first i was like no we are not going to forgive either of these guys we're gonna i was like you're all leaving but this it, is great i love this but it didn't upset you that he had a change of heart and was reconciled and it didn't upset you that at the end she's smiling when she gets the letter from jaya and it's like well, she, all things are okay that didn't upset you no because that's that's not forgiven of the family she, she that's that's just her uh because she probably wants the grandma and the family because she knows how important the matriarch of the family is to the family so it wasn't the family has forgiven her it was R ronnie reading it who is technically not part of the family oh, uh, well, she, uh, she right before she was getting married right before she's getting married. Uh, i also had i also wanted the moment where he stops his dad's hand yes it didn't i would have preferred it to have, it to have been i would have loved it to have been in the moment where the three of them are having the fight and his dad went to strike Alia, not his wife. Well, it's I, also, but also that's, he's not going to strike somebody who's not in his family either. I don't he's know. he's a respected person. This is a well, closed between he, his family. It is, but based on what she did in the midst of them doing a worship service and there she is striking him, I found it not within the character to just kind of just stand there and... It was in public though. And no, he's, he's a public figure. Yeah, yeah I, it's still, it just... I, Again, another thing that just didn't resonate with me. Mm. Weird. Uh, another thing that I wanted to talk about in terms of the uh, introspective <laughs> was right in the beginning, when all the fat jokes were being made, I was like, mm. are we really doing fat jokes in 2023, Karen Johar? It obviously came around to part of the story, which yeah. is actually something Karen Johar, in his old films, Shah Rukh Khan was going around calling, I think, his sitzer, it, and we've seen it in a ton of films. Like, they call, like, their loved ones that are overweight, fat, whatever the word is for fat, so. Right. Mm. And it's it's literally part of the culture. <laughs> like, yeah. that's just how, and so I thought it was a one a, a very mirror up to the society of, <laughs> this is probably not okay, we're in 2023, guys. I think yeah. we were past, you know, yeah. calling people <laughs> yeah, yeah, fat, yeah. so. Yeah. Uh, but also, the fact that he has put that in, mul I think it was probably in DDLJ, Kuch Kuch Otai, so. and K3G. Right. All of him, because it's just kind of how they talk with other siblings sure. or friends. or We've seen it hundreds of times. Yeah, lots of times. Um, but I was, it was jarring at first, because I was like, oh, are we like, really oh. doing this in 2023? <laughs> we're making fat jokes? <laughs> It's kind of strange. I thought they. I, al uh, I also like that uh, he made Alia ask who was the president of. Yes. <laughs> was, did you get that joke? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You remember what happened with Alia a yes. long time ago? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought it was yes. very funny that they very included funny. that. Um, another um, uh, when the the whole speech after his dad. Um, I, I loved Ranveer's performance in this. He had a lot of emotional moments. He had a lot of very mm. funny moments. But after his dad danced and everybody was laughing at him for some weird reason, mm. even though he gave a great performance, right? Yeah. right. I get it because it's like a, a, a girl's mm -hmm. dance that he's doing. Um, yeah, it reminds me of the Atul Kulkarni movie. Where, yes. Yeah. But then he was like, he was about to say Ben Chop. <laughs> And he's like, yeah. I can't say Ben Chop. What, what can I say? Yeah. Uh, it was actually because I was like, uh, I was also worried about the speech as well. I was like, oh, he's, is he trying to defend saying right. like misogynistic thing? It was more of an mm. introspective. It was like, I didn't know these things. Yeah. yeah. Can I be, should I be canceled or whatever yeah. for these things? Uh, and so I, I, I enjoyed that moment. Um, yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed it. I'm sorry you didn't enjoy it as much as I did. Me I too. You liked it. No. Uh, <laughs> so that's good. Uh, I'm glad you liked it, because uh, a three-hour movie that you didn't like is... is that would, it, well, we've we've sat through those. But, it, but it, in all sincerity, the like is just... I mean, it, I, the main word takeaway for me was I was bored. That's not a good... That's not a good thing, you know, <laughs> to I'm put up there as a, as a slogan of... Weirdo. You know, of... <laughs> Go see this movie. You'll you be think bored. You were bored the whole you time. No, not the Don't whole time. Don't listen to him. But for okay. if for more than half of the film, wow. I was bored. I wasn't bored for more than half. There were yeah. just certain <sighs> segments that I was like, I feel so I'm bad definitely for you guys. Yeah. The basically, of you basically the so middle, bad. the middle chunk of the, of the film, it just it was it, it felt like, for lack of anything interesting, we had music continuing us through the story. Anytime I got bored, as long as it went back to them together, oh, yeah, I, I was them. fine. Yeah. It was. Uh, Renvier was I, still hot, right, Lexi? Yeah, that, so that, hot, that, that can carry it for three hours. Uh, it him, can. <laughs> I 
Ranbir yeah. can kill. He could be naked on screen for three hours. I'll be very happy. Multiple <laughs> times. Uh, <laughs> it was funny when they first showed him. It's she's his sitting first next to me. Shot. The first shot that they show him, she goes, "Oh God!" Yeah. <laughs> He's over there shaking his protein <laughs> shake. Literally, water's pouring down, down his yeah, chest. chest. Oh I was yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. It was. Great. It was. It was wonderful. I like <laughs> the whole scene where he's introduced to Alia. I thought it was very, very funny. Uh, oh, when they hysterical. first meet in, in his office. I uh, really yeah. enjoyed that moment. And to credit him for anybody, because there's so many people who hate him undeservedly, a very similar character for this, and to show you his different approach and how he can play what seems to be a similar character, but they're very, very different. Ram Leela, same guy. Mm. But he's not it the was same the guy. Same guy. You, in terms of outlandish, yeah. braggadocious, he's, he knows he's beautiful. He's but, so versatile. But the Ram Leela character is a very different kind of guy. So yeah. Jai than this Jodor. guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I just he he's a great actor. Everybody. It's so funny because I, I, it sucks that I have to de- defend him because then we're labeled the Ranveer stands, right? And right. I'm happily one because I. Yeah, I don't. Have he's. That. I'm. I, it's weird to have to be like embarrassed of being mm. a fan of a, a really good actor. Mm. <laughs> it's strange, <laughs> but it's like if in America people for some reason hated, even though I think he's much versatile than the actor that I'm about to say, like. If people like just didn't like Ryan Gosling and were like, mm-hmm. Ryan Gosling's a cringe actor. He's an over. I'm like, what are you watching? Ooh, seriously. Right, exactly. <laughs> what are you? T- yeah. You may not like him for some reason that's personal, but yeah. you can't say that Ryan Gosling's not a good yeah. actor. Not a good actor. Yeah. He's also very funny. Very funny guy. And he's extremely attractive. Yeah. I, I just. <laughs> So now that's a good comparison. Like, yeah. I, I think Ranbir is actually comparison. much more charismatic and much more 100%. versatile. As an actor, I don't think uh, Ryan Gosling can play uh, Bhagavad. No, Robot. I uh, exactly. That's one, the thing that would that, be culturally insensitive. Well, that's the thing that <laughs> boggles my mind is there's he's already done enough stuff that if people watched it, I, I just, it just I, I think a lot of it. You mentioned this before. I think a lot of it has to do with they just don't like him. Yeah, it, personally, it, it must be I just, it. I don't get. I don't that. get it either. I, me too. I saw Gully Boy and I was like, he seems like such a likable guy. Well, look at those characters. Look at the character yeah. in Gully Boy, and then go to Padmavat. And then go to Baji Ramastani, then go to Ramli, then go to this, and then go to the one I always, I don't yeah. remember the name yeah, of, the comedy even, we loved. Yeah, and even in, even though we didn't like 83, he was yeah, he his, did a his, great job. And his character was different than everything else he ever done. Yes, yeah. playing jo- a real person. Jo- so, jo- so anyway, and, uh, I know we, haven't, we, didn't we, had to cl- we had to close with some Runveer. Uh, I want to make sure there was nothing else I wanted to talk about. Um, probably not. No, I think that's it. Uh, but yeah, really enjoyed it. Uh, I... Tell me if you loved it. Tell me if you were bored. Yeah. Would you rate it 10 out of 10? Yeah, what would you score it? Because I would give it a C. Oh, no. A C? Yeah, I would right. give it a... Well, you give it a 6 out of 10. That's a D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why the rating systems are dumb. <laughs> rating systems are dumb. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, because... It's hard to compare. I give, like I, a ten out of ten film can the, be also like they're the ones that keep it high for me. Is is Ranbir yeah. and Ali? Um, I gave on like I would definitely give it a like if it was out of five, either four to four and a half, definitely. Wow. Uh, just because yeah, I, you did love just, it. The entertainment factor of it. It's like mm. you can't compare it to yeah, like on a, a ten on, out of ten film of on like, a five. Games. On a five, I'd give it a two and a half. Uh, yeah. I would give it a. Th- Three and a half. That's super weird. Yeah. Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film. Did you like it? Were you bored? Did you hate it? Uh, if you didn't like Renvere, you're an idiot. <laughs> uh, and let us know what the next uh, Renvere and Alia films that we should watch are down below. <laughs>